Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, today I'm going to show you the uh, uh, features or, or, or bug fix I made to the latest for, uh, software uh, update, the firmware version 1.33 beta. Um, in this release, I uh, uh, fixed two issues. Um, first one is related to the uh, um, a voltage accuracy of the heater supply. The second one is a minor one, so we'll uh, deal with the minor one later. So let's uh, focus on the uh, problem with the heater supply for now. So here is the uh, um, a simplified circuit of the heater supply uh, on each tracer. And at the factory, uh, here is the uh, 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 battery uh, with very uh, with selectable uh, voltage output from 1.2 volt to 27 volt. And uh, at the output, at the positive terminal, is there is a, a 5 amp slow blow uh, fuse series connected. And after the fuse, it's a, there is a protection diode. And uh, the uh, the cathode of the diode is connected to the, uh, to the one of the uh, uh, heater terminal. In the return pass, we have a one a point one ohm uh, um, current sensing resistor. Um, at the factory, the uh, voltage of this battery is calibrated, um, and the the result is actually quite good. The uh, at the voltage above two volt, the uh, accuracy is. Uh, always better than one percent uh, however uh, these components these are components are not uh, compensated so we realize um we rely on model to uh, compensate it uh, in the previous software releases um, only the I only the voltage drop if you remember the uh, 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 GUI uh, for the heater setting the compensation is the only field we can uh, uh, dial in the compensation. Okay, so the default value for it is 0.07, oh, sorry, uh, 0.7 ohms. Okay, um, so the uh, the problem is when the, uh, the for certain tubes, for example, the uh, the tubes I'm going to use today, the uh, Telefunken uh, EO156, the rated uh, um, uh, current for the filament is uh, 1.9 amp. Um, so, if we do not compensate uh, this, the uh, current uh, flow through this resistor will cause the uh, voltage voltage drop of 2. Uh, 0.2 uh, ohm. And there also, there's also other uh, resistance. Uh, for example, resistance from uh, inside the of the uh, the diode, and the resistance inside the uh, um, uh, the fuse, and the resistance from the wiring and resistance from the connectors. Uh, so um, those need to be compensated. Okay. So um, and you know, uh, comp to for the compensation, the I, it's pretty simple. We just need the, uh, to model this as a uh, voltage drop across this diode and uh, a series uh, resistance which is the sum of all the resistance uh, in the uh, in this path okay so uh, to to compensate the the, uh, the uh, filament output I modify the configuration option so here we uh, I have more field. I create two fields for the uh, compensation uh, values. The uh, the first one, 0.17, for key heater, heater compensation, is to uh, deal with the voltage drop across this uh, diode. And uh, this uh, the series R is uh, the combined resistance of all components uh, in the uh, filament pass. And the default value is 0.3 ohms. Okay, so with these parameters properly uh, properly set up, the output voltage on the on heater one and the heater two will be uh, closer to the uh, configured value. So 
here we can see I, I also observed that uh, for many tubes the uh, the major uh, current is actually uh, higher than the reference menu in the in the data sheet uh, I don't know why but uh, um, it's quite uh, common so that uh, has a side effect with the, uh, the, the approach I uh, mentioned because uh, for the compensate uh, the, the heater circuit supply itself is a open circuit control I do not uh, use uh, any feedback to uh, to adjust the voltage on the fly uh, there is uh, there are several reasons for that so uh, but I'm, I'm going to skip the, the, uh, the them for now so uh, what I did is based on the resistors uh, configured of uh, 0.3 ohm in the uh, uh, in our example I take the reference current and multiply multiply the least value by the uh, the configured resistance and uh, come out with the uh, 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 compensation uh, voltage and uh, add it to the uh, the configured voltage so the problem uh, not problem so the uh, one problem with that approach is uh, when the actual uh, current is higher than this value uh, the compensation voltage will be lower than uh, the uh, optimal value but I think the error is uh, acceptable okay so the and I also modify the uh, display of this uh, this value uh, in the old release software releases uh, the uh, the reading here is the sound value of uh, the configure value and the compensation so for example if we configure the vote to 0 0.3 uh, 6.3 and with a compensation value of uh, 0.7 the reading will be very close uh, to 7 volt here so uh, um, that cause a lot of uh, 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 a lot of users are confused by uh, uh, you know by this phenomenon they uh, they are confused uh, the uh, the meaning of this this reading so uh, here uh, uh, the reading is the estimate, uh, estimate, estimated value of the uh, uh, the heater uh, supply. Okay, so um, the second problem is uh, actually minor, but I'm going to show you uh, what's going on here. So I'm going to uh, scan the uh, EL 156 uh, under a uh, uh, pentode mode. And uh, with a screen voltage of uh, two point, uh, sorry, two two fifty volts. Oh, sorry, not this one. Okay, so the the behavior of the of the old uh, version. The scan start from zero, and at this point, I actually the, the, uh, I, I I I do not perform any measurement. I just because zero volt should uh, the, we should read the zero uh, uh, amp on the current, and uh, the setting is uh, for HV one is from zero to six fifty and with a, a step of twenty five volt. Okay, so here you can see the problem at the at the the first point around the uh, twenty four volt. The current for the uh, for these curves are very high, so this will cause a uh, huge peak in the current measurement. And uh, uh, this causes uh, uh, some problem if we use a higher order of uh, interpolation. So that's uh, actually that's the reason why I use the first uh, first uh, order interpolation in the current version. Um, so to fix this problem, we can start. We need to start the scan from non-zero non value. For example, from four. So uh, one way to uh, to do that is we can start from four and end uh, uh, on six fifty four, for example. And uh, here I provide another way to do to achieve the same goal. So let's abort this. So here in the configuration. Uh, menu we have a, a, a override option so we can override this uh, so this value will override the uh, uh, start point of HV1 anything below uh, this value will be ignored so the, it will force HV1 to start from this value or above this value hit apply and exit so now we can run the test again
Okay, here we can see because we start scanning from a um, full road, we eliminate the uh, huge uh, peak, actually the bump from 0 to 25 and from 25 to 50. So, um, and this allows us to use a, 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 a higher order interpolation and I'm going to use that in the, uh, the, major, the next uh, major release of the software. Okay, so here, these are the two uh, 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 issues I addressed in the latest update. And this will, will probably be the, uh, uh, the final version of the, uh, the, the software version 1.x. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching my video, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy using uh, eTracer. I'll see you next time. Bye.